Okay, today we're going to talk about what's inside of an industrial smoke detector. Here we got to have here we have an industrial smoke detector here. And uh they use a radiation source. And uh here's here's a source from a normal smoke detector. I kind of cut it out with the tin snips. And the source is just in the middle, it's americium. And uh americium what 241. And uh well take a look at this guy. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy. So uh, here's uh, our industrial smoke detector and it has a little twist thing. Let's not pull this apart yet. And uh, we look, where is it? I believe it is right here. We can read that. Let's refocus on that. Says contains radioactive material, americium 241, 80 microcuries. Now, a normal smoke detector. This is a lot. This is this is almost a couple orders of magnitude higher than these guys because normal smoke detector just has one microcurie of americium in it. Okay. So let's see how we take this guy apart. And. Uh, so this this top part just slides off. It's kind of a grid that just lets the uh, smoke into here. And uh, there's some clippy things on the side here. You can pull those up like that on either side of the shell. And I've already taken out the sources in this guy. It's got some wires and stuff that go down to these pins at the bottom. And uh, the sources were here. I actually took some tin snips and cut them off. And there's some electrodes and stuff on the inside that uh, measure the conductivity of air as you ionize it. And so what it is is it's just some uh, metal that's kind of folded over. And uh, inside of that is the source. And there's two of them, one on each side. And they look like that. They're just a little strip of metal and they're very highly radioactive so let's what I found is that these are actually so radioactive that they don't allow the the Geiger meter to um, recover because there's so much radiation so the Geiger meter actually cuts off when you get it too close that's how radioactive they are and uh, I'll put that guy down and here's our normal americium source which is uh, more in the range of a Geiger meter, so it never actually cuts off even when you get it close. It just goes really high. So these guys are almost a hundred times more powerful than um, <coughs> than the uh, ones that you get in a normal smoke detector. So I was telling someone one time I could build a solid state particle accelerator, right? That's what this is, a solid state particle accelerator. They didn't believe me, but these are the best type of accelerators. If you want to, you know, like uh, the radioactive Boy Scout, you want to build your own nuclear reactor at home or do your own atomic experiments, become an atomic scientist like the good old 1950s uh, dream, then uh, that's how you can do it. Anyway, this is uh, Dr. Jaynes, and thanks for watching.